Some of the earliest human art known was created in caves in southern France and northern Spain between about 15,000 and 35,000 years ago. And understanding this art is a fundamental archaeological enterprise. It gives us a direct route into the minds of these Ice Age humans. And while they were often painting animals that were critical resources to, to living in this landscape, they were also, between about 20 and 30,000 years ago, creating hand stencils on these cave walls. We have two approaches to these hand stencils. We know where they are in caves, so we can see how difficult it was to get to the place they were left and how difficult it was to leave them and so on. But what we don't know a lot about is the actual way they were produced. And we can only learn about that by actually producing them ourselves. So that's why we're undertaking this experimental replication of these hand stencils. It's actually very difficult to understand why humans 20 or 30,000 years ago created art and how it functioned in their society. So in order to do this, we've actually created part of a cave wall ourselves that we can leave our own hand stencils on. The important thing is the undulations of the cave wall. It's not an even surface, so we need to understand how easy or difficult it is leaving these stencils in various positions. So here we have everything necessary to create hand stencils. The most important ingredient is red ochre, or powdered red ochre, which we know was being used in the Ice Age to make these red stencils. Uh, and we've got a shell to mix it with water in to create a nice fluid paint. And then what we use are two tubes, and they can be hollow bones. We know bird bones were used in the Ice Age, or in this case, chicken bones, as they're easier to obtain or reeds, we know they were used uh, as well. It's interesting because it's actually, the hand stencils themselves are a direct record of these people, so you can tell various things about the people from the stencils, such as you could sex them, you can age them roughly, you could also tell you know, whether they were right or left-handed because they'll have been holding the utensil in their right hand and creating a stencil with the left hand if they were right-handed. So it's a direct record of these people. It's not as easy as it looks. It, you, you see them and you think that can't be very difficult to do, but once you actually start trying to create them yourselves, you realise it's not, it's not the easiest thing to do. That It's difficult to actually get the paint on the wall. They're in difficult positions. You, you know, just getting the right mixture of pigments not straightforward. None of it's straightforward, so it's, it's much more complicated than it initially looks. We've done various experiments on how, how you actually get the paint onto the walls. I mean, as you have, people have tried spitting it and blowing through straws and things. It's, it's messy and um, it's, it can be quite difficult to actually get the correct effect. Well, I'm about to create a hand stencil in the way we thought they were created in the Ice Age. And I've got my equipment here. Uh, red ochre diluted in water in a shell container and two reeds which I'm going to blow through to create a vacuum and liquidise the paint onto the surface. So we've got a mock-up cave wall here. I simply hold the pigments to the wall, put this in my mouth, and I'm gonna be blowing at, across the top of this reed that's in the pigment. So I'll put my hand against the wall, and I'm ready to blow. So what I've done is sprayed the diluted red ochre at the wall with my hand placed flat, palm down against it. As you see, it creates this lovely diffuse cloud of red ochre spray and leaves a sharp hand stencil in the centre.